we're heading into a port area um, at a place called Mount Monganui which is a part of Tauranga it's actually the port of Tauranga I used to sail in here on cargo ships a lot we'd come from Auckland down to Tauranga and Tauranga down to Wellington and then off to Australia typically I'm very familiar with this whole area temperature now has gone to 28 degrees Celsius uh, it's about midday it's a very nice part of the Bay of Plenty I'll just let the uh, video run for a while along here and some of you will have been here before and recognize these scenes a little bit industrial but it's a port area you expect that you know oil facilities cement silos etc Harley-Davidson plenty of Harley-Davidson's in New Zealand that's for sure this way there's a couple of different ways of getting down to the uh, the uh, beach area of Mount Monganui this is a, probably a more direct way export out of here is a lot of a lot of export will be logs we export a lot of logs uh, over to Japan or China uh, out of uh, Tauranga Wow, this place is selling gas for 265 as well. That's those gold stations are pretty pretty sharp on their pricing at the moment. Uh, 262 on this side of the road, isn't that crazy? <laughs> that would annoy you if you pricked it up on the other side of the road. Anyway, that's nice for us. Don't need any at the moment, so we won't be getting any. All the typical car sales, you know, that you see anywhere in the world. That's a Z station. I, I think they sort of morphed out of the Shell stations years ago. They are more of the international group. So their pricing is a little bit higher, along with Mobile, Mobile and Caltex, I believe. So this road will take us to Mount Monganui. Mount Monganui is very much a holiday spot. It's actually very beautiful. We used to have our caravan down here quite a lot in the past, but my children were small. And we'd come across here and stay in the caravan on the weekends down by the beach children grow up and uh, things change so no longer have the caravan into Mount Monganui. It gets its name from the uh, the mountain. There's a very big hill at the end of the spit uh, that you can walk around and climb up to the top of and that, that's the name of that mountain. It's called Mount Monganui. So this whole area here is Mount Monganui. Basically it's a little peninsula. We've got the sea on both sides of it. It's sort of like have an in, an in water beach and an, and, a, and an ocean beach area. That's the mountain up ahead of us. It's quite a, it's quite a um, good walk to the top. I won't be doing that.
the distance you can see the, uh, the, the top of the mount. The view from there is pretty amazing. That green and yellow, uh, green and black car there is, a, is an Australian Ford Falcon. Uh, it was actually an XA model, ran about in 1972, 71, 72. I can remember when those things were selling for about two or three thousand dollars. That particular one, I'm sure he'll get uh, probably close to thirty to fifty thousand, somewhere in that range. They are they regarded as, regarded as a as a four door uh, muscle car of the day. Um, they also made a two-door coupe at the same time. I uh, haven't seen one of those on the road for quite a while. I used to race them at Bathurst over in Australia. And uh, being a Ford fan, I am a Ford fan, of course. I uh, love the Fords. And uh, had a few of the uh, Falcons. I had a, um, a 73, which was the XB Falcon four-door, 250 cubic inch. But they came out with a 351 Cleveland V8, and uh, they're a pretty, pretty competitive car actually against the Holden uh, of the time, Holden Monaros, Holden Tiranas, etc. Those were in the days before we had any Japanese cars, and so you're pretty well uh, just getting hold of English, American, and Australian cars here. Oh, of course, Europeans. There are a few BMWs and Mercedes, but in those days they didn't seem to have the the competition. They didn't seem to have that uh, that amount of. Uh, they didn't seem to be that competitive against the other vehicles, such as the the muscle cars from the states and from Australia, which are mainly V8s. It's very much a sort of a holiday resort type area here. It's very nice. And you can pick up something for, you know, if you hunt around, you can pick up an apartment or uh, a cheaper place for, I would imagine, still probably 500 to 700,000 should buy you something quite nice. What's that, about 350,000 US, I suppose. Toyotas are very popular here, of course, in New Zealand. They've been here for a long, long time now, and they're well established in people's uh, people's habits of buying vehicles. Typically, people buy a Toyota; they often stick with them. Uh, I'm quite happy with my Toyota Vitzes. Great little car. We've had other Toyotas in the past: Toyota Corolla, Toyota. Um, Toyota Coronas and of course the Supras, Toyota Supras. But these days I'm pretty set with the Hyundai. I like the Hyundai Santa Fe and I'll stick with um, with Hyundai's for SUV. I think they're a damn good SUV. Tough as old boots and uh, not, not a, a stupid price. They're priced uh, well for the um, you know, for the average uh, average punter. So heading here close to the main street, uh, up where this uh, roundabout is. What is that? Is that an old Triumph? No, it's a Royal Enfield. So it looks like one of those later model ones uh, with the old sort of classic style to it. Little market day here on the left. 
this is quite typical they'll sell all sorts of stuff food and bits and pieces you know knickknacks souvenirs this one is just crazy when the cruise ships were coming into New Zealand but we don't get cruise ships coming into New Zealand now uh, that's all stopped uh, so all of these people that you see around these are all local Kiwis uh, local, local, probably a lot from Auckland coming down for the weekend. I'll go down Main Street here, I think, and then we'll loop around and head away. This is just mainly uh, cafes, uh, outdoor eating, very, very nice. This leads down to the main beach, which I believe is called Ocean Beach, which it is, Ocean Beach. Nice Mercedes. I do like the Mercedes SUVs, those N series, emails, etc. Yeah, this is uh, hasn't really changed much over the last 40 years or so. Been coming here for at least 40 odd years now. Probably more outdoor eating than there was early days, but it's it's very nice. Just a nice atmosphere, and uh, sometimes we've come and stayed the weekend down here, and uh, we may do that later on in the year. Nice place to come, even when it's winter. It's quite nice to come. had breakfast at this place here called the Fat Cow a couple of times. Very nice food there. Well, we're just about at the mount itself. You might be able to see sort of to the left of the screen there, the edge of the mount. She's pretty big, I'm not too sure what her height is, but it's a heck of a climb. And it takes a while to walk around the perimeter of it as well. Uh, at the back side of it is the actual sea itself, the ocean, so it's quite a nice walk actually. I won't be doing it today. I haven't, I haven't planned to do it anyway. More apartments going up. I wouldn't be a bit, I wouldn't be against buying an apartment down here to be honest. We'll see how things go. Now what's this here coming up? Oh, it's a Jaguar. Very nice. Very nice. Mercedes there, white Mercedes, grey Mercedes up here, yeah. This is quite nice area, uh, this is a, a, an area that has been developed over the years into nice apartments. It's like a very, very miniature um, Gold Coast of, uh, of, of, um, of Brisbane, of, of Surface Paradise. Just a miniature, absolute miniature version of Surface Paradise. But I have been to Surface Paradise many times and we've stayed there um, and uh, I've seen lots of the old black and white photographs of Surface Paradise in the 40s and 50s and um, there's no doubt about it that uh, it was like this here in the beginning. There were just little beach batches along the beach, no high rise and it just went crazy um, in the last 50, 60 years there. And I think in another 30, 40 years here we'll see a similar thing because the actual um, geography is very similar. Uh, the way things are laid out here is a, is a miniature of, um, of surfers. The beach is absolutely magic, beautiful um, white sand over there to the left. You can't really see it here. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful and a uh, great, great uh, beach area to swim at. Everyone's out there today swimming around there, people having breakfast and lunch in the cafes, and it's nice. I think we might come back down here again in a, in a few weeks and maybe stay, stay the weekend actually. Haven't really left Auckland much this year, except to go down to uh, the Taranaki region, which is on the west coast of North Island, which is quite a different climate. 
and this coast, the coastal area there is iron sand. Uh, that's the black iron sand. Whereas on this side is the crushed uh, shell, and uh, it's that beautiful white uh, sand boot, fine to walk in. It's really nice. So a very popular place to come to. Um, I would say most of the people here would be from Auckland. They'd come down maybe last night. Uh, and the hotels here, motels here will be very full. So we'll let this video run along this uh, beachfront. We might get the odd glimpse depending on how the road twists and turns of the uh, beach area. It's just off to my left. It's just basically these cars on the left here are right beside the beach. What was that? Was that a yellow Ferrari? I just uh, missed it a bit there. Just off to my left here. It's very very nice. You got little ice cream vendors and hot dogs and you know that sort of stuff. Get your um, burgers and things there. So the temperature is about 27, 28 degrees, which is quite pleasant. Could have brought my scooter down here, had a bit of a ride around. Okay, I'll just uh, finish this off for, for now and we'll uh, open a new one a little bit later on. Thank you for viewing. Uh, Mount Monganui in the Tauranga city area, the coastal ocean beach side, uh, North Island, uh, New Zealand. Certainly a place to come to if you've never been here before, it's for sure.